the final match in the middleweight division in the white gi. Tynan Dapra in the blue, Eduardo Carvalho. Immediate guard, guard pull. And doing a great job of immediately just throwing his knee in the middle, breaking open that guard. It's Tynan Dalbra. The thing I want to say about Tynan Dalbra's jiu-jitsu is that you very rarely see him out of position. He is nearly always in a good spot to compete. And it seems like he does have a very measured approach to his passing at all times. You see, he loves to have a grip over the collar to lift up the shoulder. And he's very powerful, very explosive competitor. Yeah, the Delper is really out of position. He's posturally so solid everywhere, top or bottom. And that's one of the reasons why his guard passing is so good. But look at this, the, the, the grip around the back of the neck, running around. Oh, forcing Carvalho to go belly down and back into the center line. But now, back exposure, Dalpra spins, one hook. Oh, it looks like Carvalho was about to go to the other side, which was going to be a very smart move, but Dalpra covers it right away. To Carvalho, is almost, it almost looks like he wants to stand up in this position, but it's just so hard once Dalpra becomes one with your back. <laughs> it is very difficult to Look at the way he's working on the all. collar, just gradually cinching up the grip, taking the slack out of the collar, getting closer and closer to the neck. And now, going over the top, he's got it. This is on. This is a matter of time. That choke is on. Carvalho needs to push himself above the head of Tynan Dalpra if he wants to relieve the pressure on this choke. Small adjustments for Dalpra, but he is very much under the chin. Cavallo taps, there it. is the submission. Tynan Dalpra, two and a half minutes. First match of today will face the winner of Felipe Cesar Silva and Ronaldo Jr.